we had in the back of our mind a dream where we could get data from more locations, first of all, but also more timely. And we learned uh, kind of fortuitously that some folks in Norman, Oklahoma, known as for their weather uh, and climate work, uh, were interested in a statewide network as well. And we became aware of each other, put our heads together starting, I believe, in about 1987 kind of got our ducks in a row for what was to come later. Uh, governor Bellman was governor in my uh, first term in the state legislature and he was a big proponent of creating this statewide uh, set, of, set of weather stations. It was very clear that this was going to be a major advancement for our observing capabilities um, uh, on what was termed the mesoscale, uh, small scale, both in space and time, that would be incredibly useful for sustaining situational awareness, and uh, providing another input for our forecast in the morning. Uh, having observational data, knowing what's going on across the state helps us in, in many different ways. Uh, obviously, we're looking for weather features that can help spark thunderstorms. And one of the features here in Oklahoma that many people have probably heard of is the dry line. Thunderstorms like to form along that boundary. Having a, a system like the Oklahoma Mesonet lets us identify where that boundary is and to track its movement. So resources like the Mesonet factor in with the satellites, factor in with all the monitoring equipment out on the oceans and at the North and the South Pole. So I'm happy to have been around from the beginning and get to enjoy the present, the resources. We really didn't know what the application could be. We knew that there was data that would be coming in from across the state. We knew that this would be a good thing for emergency management in general. And the truth is, I don't think any of us really knew uh, because it's still, it's still evolving today. Constantly I'm looking at that, especially on days like this when I, when I need real-time information, I can look up and look at you know, relative humidity real fast or I can look up a map and, and pull that up on the app. Tremendous tool to have in a preparedness toolbox. I think any emergency manager would tell you that. Certainly utilities in the state of Oklahoma, the co-ops that I work for, that's what we use the Mesonet for is a preparedness tool and it's a great fit. The Mesonet now, I could be sitting on a fire scene and have all that weather information sitting there in the palm of my hand. So I can see the weather changes coming in. I can bring up on the Mesonet to where we're going and know exactly what the weather conditions are. So that type of information is, is very critical to us. Fire in Oklahoma uh, can certainly become very challenging very quickly. Um, and we're very thankful to have the Mesonet to access uh, to help us and our forestry services division do a, they do an excellent job, but to do an even better job uh, because data helps them to make better decisions. My dad was very meticulous about record keeping. So prior to the Mesnet, he wrote down rain events in his ledger book. You know, we got five inches of rain on this day, or you know, we went 40 days without any rain. You know, back in the early 80s, we went 30 some days of the 100 plus degree weather. I mean, he wrote all that down. Today, I got it at my fingertips on my phone. You know, and I think just having that information there, you know, for the next 25 years, I think it helps us manage what we do as act producers in this state. And from that standpoint, it's very valuable. I mean, it's a great partnership between OU and OSU. Weather's extremely important. We, we live and die by the weather. You know, we're, we're either uh, too wet or we're too dry or we're too hot or we're too cold. You know, I primarily use it to look at soil temperatures, kind of to know when the grass is going to start growing. Uh, we use it for weather information. We like to use the fire planning tool it gives us a prediction of soil, uh, you know, soil moisture, temperatures, wind speeds, relative humidity. We began to use Mesonet uh, in working with our veterinarians the last few years. And what it's allowed us to do by using the Cattle Comfort Advisor and a lot of the different tools on Mesonet, we've managed to eliminate feed antibiotics in all of our feed. We've also eliminated using uh, mass medications with our cattle. By working with our veterinarian and then the Mesonet programs, it has also made us better stewards of the land than cattle. All of us beginning in the 21st century is beginning to use data uh, in a way that actually moves our operations forward. Mesonet is just that tool that has so many different data points on it that we're, we're gaining knowledge every day that helps us move forward. 
when you put the whole package together and the scope, we, you know, we focused on making it, designing the best network that we could, and we hoped it all worked well. We thought it would, but there's no guarantees. And um, so it was, a, it was an exciting time, stressful time, but it was fun, fun too, to create something kind of from scratch.